All right, here we go. I promised everybody who's going to come to Fed Hill, walk from down at City Hall all the way around the harbor to speak what I thought about Trayvon, violence not only in the city of Baltimore but across the globe, and what I think a solution is to change everything that we've got going on that's just going crazy. First off, on the Trayvon issue, most people are, are either angry that Zimmerman was acquitted or angry that, that uh, Trayvon got shot by Zimmerman. Bottom line is this, okay? People say, well, black on black crime happens all the time, murders happen all the time. Cities like Baltimore, we've had over 30 in the past month. Chicago had over 400 bodies last year. But the, the thing that's unique about this is it's happened time and time again through history when a white person kills a black person, admits that they killed the person, and they walk away from it and never spend any jail time. If I was in the same situation, I would have been in jail until I went to court. I wouldn't have gone free. And that's what upsets a lot of people, including myself. Whatever you feel about it, it's up to you. But at the same time, a 17-year-old unarmed per, um, person, whether they're black, white, Mexican, was shot and killed because they look suspicious. And that stuff's got to stop, okay? In this city, as I walk from City Hall to here, all you see is just dilapidation. This city used to be great. Industry, plenty of jobs, lots going on, a lot of... Uh, creative things happen, almost all of that has stopped. The industry is now overseas. Creative juices have just, just stopped. Everyone has took the time from 1988 to the present time to either sell or do drugs. And we're wondering what's going on. My youngest brother went to a middle school last year. They didn't even give him textbooks. So how do we expect anyone to learn or improve if no one's investing inside the schools? We've got brand new casinos coming up right here downtown right down the road in, between, um, in Arundel Mills, even up further north, closer to the Pennsylvania line. All these millions of dollars coming in, it's estimated over $50 million a month, yet nothing is being spent in the schools. And so we're not even educating people. And let's not even get with the uh, foster care system, uh, the juvenile detention system, and the prison system, where we're just recycling lives and souls. If we're not gonna educate people, nothing's gonna get better. What's my solution? I mean, I, can, I can't speak for all of Baltimore City, but I can speak for myself. So I'm going to take some time to improve myself, my daughter, my immediate family, and the loved ones right around me, to empower their lives to improve what's going on in their lives, my lives, our lives, however you want to put it. Okay? If my family needs to be educated, I'm going to make sure my family's going to get educated. If my family needs to get out of town just to see how beautiful this entire world is, we're going to make that happen also. You see me talk about a lot of stuff. Um, I just got involved with um, Ray Lewis and his team with his new health drink, more to come with that. You see me talk about Empower Network where I've been writing blogs and just trying to engage people in conversations. Uh, started my small new small company, Global and Petro Marketing, where it's gonna be all kinds of stuff I'm gonna be putting out. Of course, Bedlam Micro Speed, where we race little cars on small racetracks anyway. And of course, my next uh, website that's coming up, glassfurnace.com, where people get together and share ideas where we can create new industries, not only in this city, but all over. Detroit is the warning sign. More metropolitan areas are going to die. Okay? And we don't have to live like that. That's all I got to say. Oh, wait. Y'all need to be my cameraman. Hold up. Okay. You get up. Let them know your name, where you're from, and what you're into. Hey, my name is Gregory Oz, Baltimore City, and I'm about peace, happiness, and making things right in life so people don't have to go through it. And I'm talking about our young kids these days that's doing violence, and we don't need it in our life, period. So if you're trying to be a trendsetter, you need to listen to what me and this man had to say and follow the right rule for real because I'm a victim right now but I'm getting myself together for real. I went down the wrong path but I'm going down the right path now. Ain't nothing wrong with going right. So when you look at this, just remember these two faces and it's real and I ain't playing. Like I'm a living testimony of it for real and that's all I gotta say. Tell them where, tell them where you are uh, doing work out of. I'm going work out of Word on the Street, downtown Baltimore, off of Baltimore Street, right next to the, uh, the, uh, the uh, police station. And it's real. It's like everyday life situations going on that you don't hear or read about. We invest our time in letting y'all know what's going on, like murders, 
uh, rapes, everything that y'all don't hear that the news don't broadcast, we do. We do our own investigation and bring to life the truth for real because it's like an underworld for people who don't know. And it's time for a stop and a change. So, got to start somewhere. And right here is where it's at. Thank, you, thank very, you. Thank you. All right. Yeah.